We're going to use the S data NL model to model a vendor part because it's a very good model for modeling almost in anything. Now, why am I using it in this case? Because this is the part that I want to model, this, this model number here. And you have to ask yourself, what data do you have available? I have S parameters available because I downloaded them from the we vendor website. And I have a data sheet available that has a number of performance graphs on it. Because I have those two things, that's what pointed me towards using an S data NL model, which is really just an RF amplifier switched to that alternate model, S data NL. That lets you point to the S parameters for the small signal behavior and enter from the data sheet the nonlinear parameters for the large signal behavior. And once you do this, you're pretty much done. You have a pretty good hybrid model. Now, you may want to make these nonlinear parameters frequency dependent, like the S data. And Keysight calls that sys parameters. You import them with this button here. And from, uh, it reads from a CSV file, comma separated values, and populates the table. In this case, I have noise figure versus frequency now. A CSV file is a very co common file. Microsoft Excel can produce it, or you can get it from other places too. So how did I get it? Well, I snipped out the graph that I wanted to digitize snipped it out from the data sheet, uploaded it to Web Plot Digitizer, a very good free web tool for doing this sort of thing. You load the image, you specify the X and Y axis values, the color of the trace you want to digitize, and the increment down here. Then you press the Run button, and it puts data points along the trace you are interested in. Then with the View Data button, you can see the data, which is in CSV format. And once you have CSV, you can import directly into this model from the Frequency tab. You're done. You may not want to, for some reason, read from files. Therefore, you can paste the data directly on the Equations tab of the model, like I did here and then use a little bit of MATLAB to pull out the first column, which is frequencies, the second column, which is noise figures, and use these two array variables directly in the model here, NFs and freaks. And it's exactly the same result as if you had read from a CSV file. So your choice. The second gain block here is for modeling the gain variation due to temperature. Uh, the first couple of lines of the equations takes the temperature coefficient and uses it to figure out the gain variation. And so this second block is going to modify the gain of the first block. That's all that it's there for. And so if you keep your eye on this frequency response over here on the upper right, while the simulation temperature is varied from cold to hot, back to room temperature, you can see that the gain does vary. So now we have a pretty good model of a vendor part using S parameters, nonlinear parameters versus frequency, and even temperature variation. And that's how you use the S data NL model.